What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Trevor Let's Play Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, Part 5. Here we are in Chapter 4, A Normal Life. And let me see. Ah, this is the first thing. And so... Climbed your big brother some years back. Scattered all around this room, uh, which I guess I, I would assume is uh, Nate's attic of all of his uh, stuff he's collected. This is actually the first treasure that you find in Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. The first... Uh, little treasure that you pick up and you can walk around and see some of the different things and this yeah. one of the stranger things I've collected along the years you can hear uh, the music that's playing in the background when uh, when you pick some of this stuff up and that'll tell you what game it's from Spanish doubloon found in a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? And so obviously this is from uh, Drake's Fortune. The first Uncharted game. Uh, Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. And this is the journal from that game. With the bullet hole in it. As he meant, as he as he already mentioned. Look at us. And you can read. Uh, obviously, you should be. I well, you know, uh, you should be able to comf comfortably read that. But I'll go ahead and pull that up. Found this on my old camera. Thought you'd like to have it. Uh, e meaning Elena. And then you can put that away, and then keep going in. You know, throughout the room here. And there should be. Let me see. There we go. That's the. This is the journal Shambhala. <laughs> from Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Miss you, pal. So that says Nate and Tenzin. So we'll keep going. Don't think there's anything on that shelf there, but there is on here. Sir Francis and his elaborate puzzles. Yes, yeah, so that's the main puzzle feature from Uncharted 3. So many men killed each other for a piece of this. You can shake it and it glows blue. Uh, there's no, no really reason to shake it anymore other than once. Other than you just like looking at it, of course. Uh, let's see here. Should be before I open that box. It, it doesn't matter, you know, the order in which you do this, since you can see the box. That box there would be the last, or would come before this. But I want to go ahead and grab this first. Now this was a crazy ride. And so this is the journal from Uncharted Three. Uh, Drake's deception. And so uh, Nate how's things. Mm. Another lifetime, Chloe. I've been up to my usual shenanigans, nothing major, but enough to keep the heat on and the wine stocked. Caught wind of something that sounded right up your alley. Should you ever change your mind, give me a yell. I'm always on hand for a quick getaway. Love, Chloe. So, that's Chloe Frazier from the uh, from, from Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3. Let's see the... Not really my style anymore. All the belt buckles that he wore in the first three games sadly I don't I don't remember which belt buckle is which uh, but those are the three that he wore from those games and then we'll come over here and we'll open this box yeah thanks for nothing St. Dismas and so there's nothing new on that since we've already seen it in this uh, book here. Nah. And so we can't look at anything in that. But now, once you've seen everything, and we already have, we've already walked through from that end of the attic to this this end, we can pick up this gun. Yeah. Take cover. I'm surrounded. And this actually teaches us the shooting Bullseye. mechanics in the game. And you can take cover. 
right. Take that. Behind everything if you want to, making your way all the way up. And if you shoot every single target that. up on the ceiling, you will get a trophy at the end of it. Back in business. And Eat plastic. that is actually Lazarevich, that particular uh, target. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. And you can reload. Yeah, bring it. From the little canisters that are around that you might have noticed. But once you've got, or once you shoot every single target, you get a trophy shooting uh, Lazarevich. If you've shot the, the previous three, all the way at the, you know, at the beginning there, going all the way here and shooting Lazarevich will give you the last trophy. I already have that trophy, so uh, it doesn't pop up. But once we've, once you've done that, you know, there's nothing else to do here. So you just open the attic, and then we'll. Yeah, well, playtime's over. Go down. And so that gives you the last thing if you want to look at anything else right before, you know, you can, actually, have, you may not be able to, to do anything, actually, let me see if I can climb back up, yeah, okay, yeah, you can, so if you don't, didn't do anything, that's kind of, well, I guess it's not net technically your last chance, you can probably still do it all the way up to you get to where you need to go down here in the rest of the house, but, let me see, I'll just check this real quick, see if I can climb it, okay, so I can, so yeah, you, if you didn't do anything up top, and you realized that, and you wanted to, you, you can do it again, but I'll do a quick tour of the house, there's really not a whole lot to see, you know, this is a closet, <laughs> and you can see their wedding photos, wow, So the last three in this album, so we'll leave it, and we'll continue again. Here's not there's nothing in the bathroom other than just the mirror, and I believe if you stand there long enough, Nate will kind of look at himself in the mirror. Actually, he might be looking at himself now instead of like changing with the camera. I don't know. He might be looking. Yeah, I guess he is kind of changing with the camera. Oh well, yeah, there's nothing. Like I said nothing in the bathroom, other than other than the mirror to look at. There's the laundry room, and th then this is Elena's office with another bathroom in it. Again, nothing to look at. And here, there is one thing to look at here. This uh, travel guide. Oh, is this what you're working on? Bangkok travel guide is what the cover says which you can clearly see I just wasn't sure if it might mention anything else and this is quite a bit of text uh, so I'll just let you pause and look at it if you want to I'll start at the top so if you paused and looked at it you can pause and look at this again alright so that's the travel guide she's working on and there's nothing to really look at, like pick up and look at. You can just kind of. Uh, actually, there is here. Uh, we really need to go on another vacation. I guess you can. I didn't realize you could even zoom on, zoom in on these pictures. So that's the first one. It's the second one. It's been too long. The third one. And then it just then it just repeats after that. So there's only three pictures on that particular camera. And that's everything here in Elena's office that you can look at or uh, pick up and really look at. And sadly, there is music playing in the background, so hopefully that doesn't get a copyright strike. If you can turn that off, I hate to get too close to it because it'll really pick up. So here's another bathroom. Again, nothing to really look at. You were up there a long time. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. No, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. 
And so you open the refrigerator and then there's two things to get. You can either get uh, this beer down here on the bottom shelf or you can get a soda from the top shelf. There we go. I don't think either one of these matter. Uh, my first playthrough, I, I grabbed the beer thinking I would get a trophy. I didn't. And so I've never... Uh, you can't actually drink it. It doesn't really matter, you know, if you pick it up. You, there's, like I said, there's nothing. There's nothing. No buttons. You, I actually... Oh, okay. I didn't realize you could drink it. Huh. You do that by pressing the square button. Huh. Well, now I wonder if there is something like trophy related to... Okay, I guess those are just the, the two drinking animations. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize you could do that. And so then you walk over here, and then you just hit the triangle button, and then there's a big cutscene here. Done. Okay. Oh. Finish it? Yeah. Oh. You know, it's probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? God, I'm starving. Looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm -hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh, dear that Lord. Kind of so... It, it, boring stuff. Tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is going to like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs. Like the second that you got off the train, it's like, I'm going to put this U turn and it turns everything. Ah. What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? This one? Mm-hmm. And so you get a multiple choice thing. Uh, the, my first playthrough, I picked the people of Bangkok. I didn't get anything, so I'm going to pick a different one. Flights in Bangkok that um, are they're having troubles with them because the smog and they can't land. Wow. All right, I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. <sighs> All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena. in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Just stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I clean. It's fine. I mean, at least... At least, uh, let me... Let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, uh... Play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh wow. Okay, cowboy. Oh, 
Okay, watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, there we go. Crash <laughs> Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera, got it. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack! And so we get to play through uh, boulders, okay, era, reimagining, reimagined boulder version, me? version Just of run boulders. Away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Use your spin attack. Which button? Circle spin attack. Basically, it's pretty much the same thing except the lighting. Uh, it's it's a lot brighter, and the colors are a lot brighter. Uh, mostly the dirt, and obviously oh, the, yeah. the camera. Not bad, not bad. What is that thing? A fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. Looks like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? Bandicoot, and that's just, it's what he does. It's a fox, and it's not very realistic. The camera angle is uh, oh, wait, foxes a little bit more this. lower than... That doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? No, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. Okay, grab the fruit. What does the fruit do? A hundred gives you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> Uh, the, uh, it's, it's the low, the crap. Oh, what happened? You fell in the pit. I don't know. How do I, uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. I, I would have climbed back up. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helped me. Watch that pit. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, actually watch several it. I watched it. Why differences. Why is he stealing all this fruit? Foxes do not need fruit. He's not stealing. He's collecting. Well, it's not his, and that's called stealing. Huh. Yeah, well, you would know. What's that? Nothing. I'm talking smack again. Stay focused. Uh, not only is it, it's kind of glitchy as well, the jumping. It's good, good. There it's not go. perfect, but it's definitely very fun. So the best score is 3,500, and you really have to do it without without dying. Uh, with If I wouldn't have died, I believe I would have got it. Is that it? You asked for it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? Really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier no, on no, the Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning what you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in you. real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Uh, the difference is, or the camera angle is lower and it's a little bit more glitchy. The jumping isn't quite precise. Uh, even though Crash 1 was not very precise in its controls, this uh, HD remake, and I do that with the air quotes, is. Not, open Not yet. perfect, honestly, but it's still very fun to play through. Uh, We're closed. Definitely excited to see. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. I'm I was coming. definitely excited to see that they had added added in the game, and I enjoy running through it, even even with its faults. I really do enjoy running through it. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? Good to see you again, Nathan. Oh my God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, 
everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a guard, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. You would have back. come back. I know, Nathan, I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> hey, hey, you still with me? Need some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. <laughs> it's a lot to digest, you know. <laughs> but how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here? Find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Okay. Have a seat. Okay. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. Jeez, what crazy stories? Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that, uh, that actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Okay, so we get another, uh, multiple choice question here. You can either talk about the first game, the second game, or the third game. I believe I talked about the second game. I guess if you wait long enough, it's just, it'll just do one for you. Uh, do you remember the theory that we had that Sir Francis Drake faked his own death? Yeah, sure. Okay. He did. I found the coffin. Off the coast of Panama? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, get this. Okay, I open it up, right? right? And there's no body. But the bottom is his old journal. Are you shitting me? That choice does have I mean, the what most. What can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. Most interaction from Sam, though. Unbelievable. Uh, you know, he, I guess he's invested yeah. in that yeah, it was. story, the El Dorado story. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's the story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring, the... Engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe... Uh, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner. At my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring a bell with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? Funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. And this next cutscene actually leads into the fifth chapter, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I thank you for watching. Uh, next time we'll begin in chapter five, and we'll see how Sam got out of prison. So until then, let it be.